the top 10 highest paying engineering degrees of 2023. That's what we're going to be talking about today, and we're going to hop right into it right after you gently jackhammer that like button. All right, so we're going to be talking about the engineering degrees. And remember, this is different than engineering careers because there's some degrees that you can get where there's a bunch of different career paths that you can go down, whereas there's other degrees where there's pretty much like one or two that you typically will go into. But with that being said, number 10 on the list is going to be nuclear engineering. So nuclear engineering is the branch of engineering that is concerned with nuclear science. So you're either gonna be breaking down or combining atomic nuclei. Now, I'm personally a huge fan of nuclear engineering, but on these videos, I give you my unbiased opinion on which one I think is going to be good in the next 10 years or so. So when you're looking at people who graduate with nuclear engineering degrees, you're going to see about a $73,000 pay right off the bat and then $124,000 in mid-career. When you look up nuclear engineers on BLS, you're going to see $113,000 a year, but unfortunately you're going to see a negative 13% decline. And when you type in nuclear engineering on LinkedIn and then you sort by entry-level jobs, you're going to see about 4,000 results, which isn't terrible, but it's also not great. As a comparison, if you look up anthropologist on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see about 850 results. And if you look up business development, which is the entry level career for tech sales, you're going to see about 387,000 results. So yeah, tech sales is an example of a career that has a ridiculous amount of demand. I've talked about this quite a few times on my channel. There was even an engineering student that I actually interviewed who was going through an engineering program and he decided to actually drop out in order to do tech sales because he saw that there's so much demand and basically the reason he was going through the engineering program was to make a lot of money and he realized he could just make a lot of money much faster by doing tech sales and if you want to find out the company that was actually able to get Josh a job very quickly I'll put a link to free training down in the description below next one on the list number nine is going to be computer systems engineering and a computer systems engineer combines knowledge of computer science, engineering, and mathematical analysis. And with this one, you can expect to make about $74,600 a year starting out and $124,000 in mid-career pay. Computer systems analyst might be one career path you'd go down and they make about $90,000 a year and they're growing at 7%, which is faster than average and they already have 632,000 jobs. So those are really good numbers. Another career path you might go down is computer hardware engineer, $117,000 a year, growing a little bit slower at 2%. And according to Glassdoor computer systems engineers make about $87,000 a year. And when you look up computer systems engineering on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're going to see about 23,000 results. So pretty good, but not amazing. Next one on the list is marine engineering. So this one is going to include the engineering of basically anything that is either on or in the water. So we're talking about oil rigs, boats, ships, submarines, etc. Now those who graduate with a marine engineering degree can expect to make about $74,000 a year starting out and $125,000 in mid-career pay. And marine engineers and naval architects make about $92,000 a year. But it's only growing at about 1% and there's only 11,000 jobs. Now, according to Glassdoor, marine engineers make about $107,000 a year, so really good money. But on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're only gonna find about 2,600 results, so not very good for an engineering career. Number seven on the list is going to be aeronautical engineering. And this is basically things that fly through the air minus things that go into space. And with this one, you'd expect to make about $71,000 a year starting out and $125,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming an aerospace engineer and they make about $116,000 a year, but it's only growing at about 3%. And according to Glassdoor, aerospace engineers make $95,000 a year. And if you look at LinkedIn at the entry level, there's 15,000 results, so good but not great. Number six on the list is going to be chemical engineering. So this is the branch of engineering that has everything to do with chemistry, of course. And you can expect to make about $73,000 a year starting out and $128,000 in mid-career pay. According to BLS, chemical engineers make about $108,000 a year and they're growing at 4%, which is as fast as average. According to Glassdoor, they make about $100,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, there's about 23,000 results. So pretty good, but not great. Next one on the list, number five, is going to be electrical power engineering. 
engineering. This one is also sometimes referred to as power systems engineering, and it basically deals with the practical utilization of electrical energy. So with this one, you'd expect to make about $73,000 a year starting out and $130,000 in mid-career pay. According to BLS, they make around $101,000 a year, and it's growing at 3%, which is as fast as average, but there's also 328,000 jobs, so that's pretty good. And according to Glassdoor, electrical power engineers make $84,000 a year. Now, if you look this one up at the entry level on LinkedIn, there's only 9,600 results. But to be fair, there's not that many people graduating with this degree, so it's still pretty good. But with that being said, when it comes to engineering, it might be better for you to just get a more general degree like electrical engineering because it's just going to be more flexible and you're going to have more opportunities. But with that being said, number four on the list is going to be systems engineering. And this one is all about how to design, integrate, and manage complex systems. With this one, you would expect to make about $74,000 a year starting out and the hundred and 32,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming an industrial engineer. They make about $88,000 a year and they're growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. And that's with 295,000 jobs already. And according to Glassdoor, systems engineers make about $111,000 a year. So that's really good. And then if you look at LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 70,000 results. So this one is good right now. And it's probably gonna be good into the future because there's so much demand for it. Number three on the list is going to be chemical engineering and material science engineering. Now I'll put the definition up on the screen if you want to see this one, but it really focuses on the design and discovery of new materials with an emphasis on solids. With this one, you could expect to make about $74,000 a year starting out and 137,000 in mid-career pay. One career path you might go down is becoming a materials engineer and they make about $93,000 a year. There's 27,000 jobs available and it's growing at 2%, which is relatively slow. According to Glassdoor, material engineers make $84,000 a year. Chemical engineers make $100,000 a year. And if you look up material engineering on LinkedIn, you're going to see 26,000 results. And if you look up chemical engineering, you're going to see 23,000 results. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Obviously a very valuable skill set to have. Number two on the list is going to be a combination degree as well. And it's going to be the combination of electrical engineering and computer science. So with this one, it's great because you're going to have a pretty good understanding of the hardware side of things as well as the software side. And with this degree, you can expect to make $101,000 a year starting out and $152,000 in mid-career pay. Now, I will say with these types of degrees, there's probably not nearly as many people who are graduating with them. So the statistics might be a little bit off for that reason, right? Because if you have a really good sample size, like you know, 10,000 people graduating per year, you can be relatively confident that the statistics are going to be accurate. But if you only have about 50 to 100 people graduating per year, you know, you can't be nearly as confident. So just keep that in mind. But with that being said, one career path you might go down is becoming an electrical engineer and they make $101,000 a year. There's 328,000 jobs available and it's growing at 3%, which is about average. According to Glassdoor, electrical engineers make $87,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, you'll see that there are 149,000 results at the entry level. So a lot of opportunity for electrical engineers, lots of opportunity for computer scientists, of course, can be a very lucrative one to get into. Number one on the list is going to be petroleum engineering. This is the highest paying degree period. And of course, this is the engineering that has everything to do with petroleum, fuel, etc. So with this one, you can expect to make about $92,000 a year starting out and $182,000 in mid-career pay. According to BLS, petroleum engineers make $137,000 a year. There's 33,000 jobs available and it's growing at 3%, which is as fast as average. According to Glassdoor, petroleum engineers make about $92,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, there's only 1,600 results. So yeah, petroleum engineering, you can make a lot of money but there's not a lot of opportunity. It's also in an industry that's very unstable. You're probably gonna end up getting fired or laid off like five or six times throughout your career. But yeah, you definitely can make a lot of money. Now, one thing about engineers, I really like engineers. I get along with them very well. My dad's an engineer. Engineers, I know them they're very practical. And if you're in engineering purely because you wanna make a lot of money, I'm just gonna be honest with you, there are better ways to do so. And one of those ways is of course, course careers. So again, I did leave the free training down in the description below and check out that interview I did with Josh who dropped out of engineering to get into tech sales right here.